Today is December the 4th, and it's the second Sunday of Advent. I'm Tracy Shuck, and the scripture reading today is Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Mary had a divine disruption that day when Gabriel came to her and told her that she was chosen by God to bear the Messiah. Have you ever been called by God? Sometimes it's just a whisper, but it is unmistakable. You know it because you feel it. You feel that tug, that, that pull to act. And God wants us to act. He wants us to put aside our agenda and be His hands and feet. We sometimes push that away because it's not my thing. Um, I'm uncomfortable. I don't have the time. Or maybe I don't know how. I felt that way when my friend came to me. I didn't know how to help her in her time of need. She's pregnant, had a small child, and was going through a very difficult divorce. I was so frustrated. I didn't know how to help her because I didn't have the knowledge and it was well beyond my abilities. So. I decided to bring her situation to our Bible study group simply to pray for her. And an amazing thing happened. There are people in my group that turned out to be very well equipped to help her. And as a result, over time, all of her needs are met and she's in a very safe place with her children. What I learned is that you don't have to be the one with all the answers. God can use us as a conduit. So because I brought her situation into a group of other people, that was God's plan. He meant for that to happen so that she could receive the help that she needed. When God calls us, it's always a good thing. It's a true blessing. Think about Mary for a moment. She was young and scared, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph when that divine disruption filled her life. What an inconvenient time for her to have this divine interruption in her life. And yet, Mary put aside her fear and put all of her trust in God by saying, Yes, Lord, here I am. I am your servant. God made all of us uniquely able. Despite our many imperfections, we all have gifts to share. And God calls upon all of us, each and every one of us, to give of ourselves, to act when called upon. And He lets us do that in many different ways. Will you embrace your faith and trust God like Mary? Will you act on your faith when God divinely disrupts your life? Heavenly Father, when you divinely disrupt our lives, send your Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with strength and compassion and trust in you. Amen.